Previously on Big Brother, the Newbies Alliance was torn apart when their ally was unexpectedly sent packing. You are evicted from the Big Brother house. And when they confronted each other, no one fessed up. Two people didn't vote. I was going to say two people didn't. They don't know one of them is me, and I'm not telling them it's me either. The newbies have no idea it's me. It's all in a crack. And partners began to turn on each other. Dominic walking out on me made me stop trusting Dom. I got to change my whole game plan now. Adam's dead to me. I'm 100% solo at this point. At the head of household competition, things went from bad to worse for the newbies. Congratulations, Jordan. You are the new HOH. When Cassie got on Rachel's bad side... How's everything going? It's just a matter of <laughs> how we all felt about Portia is all. Some of us like Portia. So. No, it, it's all it's it's not, not, like, not And she's like, here now from not like, not, I'm not going to be bullied. It became obvious they would never be friends. Oh, no. So Rachel made it clear she wanted Cassie out of the house. Coming after us. That's the problem. Worried for his safety, Adam quickly cut a deal. I need to do what's best for me, and right now what's best for me is, you know, work with you guys and give you whatever you want. While his partner Dominic turned to Danielle for help. I'm not going to put my back out there on the line if I don't know that you're not going to try to help me. Of course. And she threw Cassie under the bus in hopes of keeping him safe. Personally, I don't trust Cassie. But she's the one causing all the drama. But at the nomination ceremony, Jordan went against her alliance. I've nominated the duo of Adam and Dominic. I feel like if y'all were HOH, y'all would be coming after me. Who will win the power of veto? And will it be used to save Adam and Dominic from eviction? And tonight, a war of words puts a crack in the Veterans Alliance. It's not nice what you say in front of other people and putting Jordan on spot like that. That's not what I was stop, trying to stop. do. It all happens now on Big Brother. Not only is he a turtle, but he is my life companion. Leah and LaJuan, y'all are safe. Thank you, Jordan. I've nominated the duo of Adam and Dominic because I have to look out for me and Jeff. It's just strategic. This nomination ceremony is adjourned. Jordan told me if I'm up on the block that I'm not the main target, so I gotta put a lot of faith in Jeff and Jordan at this point. That's all I got right now. Being put up on the block sucks. I knew I was the target coming in. I have big suspicions that Adam's stabbing me in the back. He is a traitor. I think he's betraying me, so I have to win Vito or I'm done. After talking to everyone, I felt like Dominic was the ringleader of the group. So that's why Dominic's the main target. Even though I don't trust Adam, we have to work with him for right now. Thanks, Jeff. It's not me, it's Jordan. Thanks, Jordan. And the people are mad, it's Jordan too. <laughs> Jordan, what are you doing? Cassie is the target to get out of here, not Dominic. If I can't even trust you and Jeff to make the right choices at nominations, what am I gonna be able to trust you guys with going forward? What's up? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I knew it was happening. You did? You still feel like you have a shot? I don't know how much I trust him, Jeff and Jordan. It all depends on what happens to you, man. Cut a better deal. And then what? Then I'm their slave for the next couple weeks, and then I gotta rely on them after it's all said and done? I'm not like that. I tried to sell my soul to Jeff and Jordan before noms, tried to keep myself off the block, but that didn't work, so I can't trust my partner. I I'm solo. I'm flying solo the whole way. You better fight. 
I'm not even going to. Someday, huh? You all right, man? Yeah. We gotta win that meet up. Back's against the wall. Never underestimate the heart of a champion. Well, let's just, let's not pull portion and keep. I don't do that. Give, give a reason to put targets on us. Let's stay classy, Cincinnati. chance to fight for Vito. Told Jeff, I was like, no, I think he's really upset. I was like, well, you need to, you need to talk to him again. No, all good, all good. I'm putting a lot of trust in you guys. And if, I if, promise. If, no, and I know, and if, and if so. So, for the Vito, the best thing for you to do is do whatever you can right. to sabotage it. And I promise you, we have your back. Right. And we will save you, and I, we promised you that. Jordan told me to throw the veto. She's HOH. That's what I gotta do. She told me that's the only way I'll be safe. You know, let's see if I can trust them. In this house, trust is a commodity that is very hard to come by. Thanks. Cassie has to be out before we get separated. Yeah. You know. Cassie has to be gone. Well, she's just a floater. She's not, <clears throat> she's not really, but I don't she's know like she's, a manipulator. Yeah. But I just think her like controllingness and stuff is, is gonna be well, a big factor. Point. Like she's so pretty, but then she's just not good at playing this game. She plays a victim. I'm like, seriously, girl. Sweetie pie. Oh, your, Sweetie pie. your nippies are hard. Girl, these are sensitive. <laughs> what? I see Portia and Rachel talking. That is mischievous. Those girls are always up to no good. I'm just shaking my head. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Anything I tell you, you have to seriously not tell, okay? Because it's for your benefit. Even though Jordan nominated Dominic for eviction, there's plenty of games still left to be played before the veto, so I'm not stressing out just yet because there's a lot of moves I can make. I push and push and push to get Cassie out. But they wanted you out. Yes. Yeah, no kidding. Right, don't just can't keep her mouth closed. Yeah, me either. Which is good. My relationship with Danielle is definitely building, kind of growing. I feel like there's a chemistry between us. We're definitely always flirting with each other and fooling around and goofing off. And I think it's building up to a sense of trust that we can actually maybe play this game together. I need Dominic to fully trust me in this game. I want Dominic making my moves. And I need him to realize that my moves are going to benefit him in this game. At least for now. Like I've said a million times, I'm not here to pay for somebody's wedding. And I'm not here to pay for somebody's summer vacation. I definitely do not hate Cassie, but if I see a bus, I'm not afraid to give her a little push. That way I can work with Dominic. Why is Jeff want Dominic gone so bad? They don't trust him. I trust him more than Cassie. How Cassie You and I and Jeff and Brendan and Danielle, we're like legit. Like we're not gonna throw each other under the bus. 
But Tassie cannot be trusted. She is so fake. She needs to get out of here. She's shady. She's, She's super so shady. shady. We need to get her the hell out of here. She needs to go home soon. Right. I would just honestly not spend as much time with her and yeah. or alone. Well, I mean, people come up to my room. Like Yo, for can... sure, for sure. But she's going to try fish information. She needs to try. Cassie just said one thing to Rachel about Portia, and Rachel's blowing it way out of proportion. And it's a little exaggerated and a little bit dramatic. It's almost ridiculous. Cassie cannot be trusted. She needs to get out of here. With Rachel, I feel like I have to be like one way. And I feel bad because I don't want to feel like I'm being two-faced. I know we're playing a game and we're slowly, gradually getting Cassie on our side. And Brandon and Rachel are like in my ear, like, you can't trust them. And, like, and then I was like, you can't trust this person, that person. And I was like, I know. And then I got Cassie when she comes over. She seems so sweet and so genuine. And I want to talk to her. So talk to her. I do. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, I feel like I'm talking to Cassie and being all sweet. And then Brandon and Rachel are like in my ear. Yeah, they and then, like, I, and then I don't I, understand why everyone's going crazy. Brennan and Rachel are putting a lot of pressure on Jordan and myself to get rid of Cassie. Cassie doesn't like Rachel and Brendan, but she does like Jordan myself, and it is Jordan's HOH, so we're gonna do obviously what benefits us. Let Rachel worry about what Rachel does. People are getting, you know, a little too bananas over this whole thing. You kind of get fed up with game talk in the Big Brother house, and when you have people like Brendan and Rachel in here, that's like that little gnat that buzzes in your ear that you can't stand, that's kind of Rachel all the time. It's not her first rodeo, and I don't need that all the time. So please, Rachel, relax. It's only two weeks into this game, and already I can't take you. I need some uh, Rachel off. Tell Rachel to relax, because, because it's like <laughs> exhausting. People are throwing you under the bus. Oh, I know. I don't doubt it. I've but heard, I've heard stuff. It's because you're pretty. That's why. You're like absolutely gorgeous, uh, and I'm not lying. I think everybody knows that. And I think that's, you know how th that saying, it can be a curse sometimes to mm -hmm. be pretty just because girls are intimidated by that. It's not strictly that. It's the jealousy, I think, is heightened and turned into what it's turned into because I don't play back with them. Everybody, I'm being honest, everybody's like, Cassie, Cassie, get Cassie out. Rachel is jealous because Cassie is beautiful and Rachel likes to be the center of attention. Well, what I like about you too, like when that deal happened with Rachel, I was like, you know what, like they're solid people, I think they're gonna make their own decisions about me. Oh, you know, yeah. versus, you know, I she think said, he we said all. and all this shenanigans in here. This right here is exactly why I didn't come into this house and admit that I am a model because I didn't want this jealous, petty girl shenanigans to, to ruin my game. But uh, it's clearly happening anyway, so um, I guess I could have just been honest about it. You know, I just told myself today I can't stress over it and we'll just see what happens and I'm just going to keep playing really for myself and Shelly and, and that's it, so. It's time to pick players for the veto competition. Only six people will participate in the veto competition. The head of household and their partner. The nominated duo and one other duo selected by random draw. Will the nominees and my partner please join me up here? Since you said it's so exciting, of course. I made a deal with Jeff and Jordan that I was going to throw the veto competition, and I still intend on doing that. Sorry, Dom. I, as head of household, will pull a chip out of the bag to determine the other duo competing in the veto competition. Who's the lucky one? Brendan and Rachel. I'm going to the veto comp against Jeff and Jordan, and then the super duo gets picked. Brendan and Rachel, are you kidding me? 
And you know, who am I bringing along with me? Come on, Adam. Yeah, you're a 300 pound paperweight. This is horrible. I'm gonna get destroyed. I also have to choose a host for the veto competition and I choose <laughs> Danielle. Big Brother will inform us when the competition is to begin. Good luck. Actually, let's go in here. Would you be willing to change the nominations if we won? Yeah, why? Because it would be going against Jeff and Jordan. I think that they're just thinking about what's it's best for their game. Yeah, but we can't do this behind Jeff and Jordan's <clears throat> back. Jeff and Jordan are definitely working for themselves right now. So Brendan and I have to take control of the situation. We gotta do what we gotta do. There's no reason we shouldn't win. I know, I agree. Cassie is a snake and a liar, so she's gotta go. Hello. Hello. We need to win. Use that. Make a deal with Tommy. Tell Tommy he has to work with us. I'm super excited that Brendan and Rachel are on board wanting to keep Dominic in this house. But if Brendan and Rachel use the veto, it's going to cause a huge upset in our alliance. But in the end, nobody's going to be mad at me. And I'm still going to get what I want, which is Dominic remaining in the house. Walking out to the backyard, it kind of was a cross between Willy Wonka's factory and uh, being on the live board of Candyland. There was gumballs everywhere, candy all over the yard. I'm not sure what we have to do, but I'm sure after I'm going to have to go see a dentist. Whoa, what is this? Going into this veto, I 100% have to win. I have no options here. My back's against the wall. I got to fight and I got to fight hard. If it comes down to me and Adam, I'm going home. In this veto competition, you will be playing as individuals. The winner has the sole power to take one duo off the chopping block. Now that I know this veto competition is singles and not doubles, cut the chains off, Adam. I'm working solo. I love it. Let's go to work. Let's do this. I'm alone. Let's battle. To win this veto, simply be the first to chew enough gumballs to cover all the X's on your canvas and complete your veto portrait. On go, chew your gumballs one at a time across the balance beam and onto your canvas. I was like, oh, I'm gonna be good at this. I walk and chew gum all the time. If you fall, you are eliminated from the competition. Unless you are willing to accept two weeks of slop to continue in the race. Whoa. But beware. A second fall, and you are out for good. The first player to complete your veto portrait wins the power of veto. Dude, what's up with those two weeks of slot things? Going into this competition, Adam said he's going to throw it, so as long as one of the veterans win, Dominic's going home. Jeff and Jordan don't know it, but Rachel and I want to win the power veto and get Dominic off the block and send Cassie out of here. At the end of the day, Rachel and I are in the game for the two of us. Ready, set, go! Oh my god, I got nervous all of a sudden. 
The object of the veto competition is to chew a piece of gum while you're walking and then stick the chewed gum onto the veto symbol on the canvas, which is on the other side. I did gymnastics, so I was like, oh, awesome. I could totally do this. Take your time down. This is not your little gum to refresh the breath. This is big balls of this giant, you know, bubble nastiness. Way to go, Jeff and Jordan. Well, I know, I was just like, like trying to chew it really fast. I think if I had more balls in my mouth, I probably would have looked like a gerbil or something. Honestly, I don't have good balance. I didn't learn how to ride a bicycle until I was 21 years old. I know that's a shocker. People look at me, they think oh, automatically I'm a Harley guy. Only time I ride Harley is when I'm riding bitch on the back. Adam has absolutely zero chance of winning here. A plastic piece of bubble gum itself could have rolled on this beam faster than Adam's going. Careful there, Brendan. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. You're crabby enough, don't do that. No, I don't care. Don't do it. I'll be pissed, don't do it. I scream out right away, do not take that slap pass because she has no chance in winning and the last thing I want for her to go on slap for absolutely no reason, just to show that she has heart and she's a good competitor. Okay, and Jordan is out of the competition. Jordan doesn't take the slop, and I get so frustrated. This just proves more than ever that Brendan and I need to take control back of this house. So the HOH isn't playing, then maybe we shouldn't be. Good job, Jordan. Good job, Jordan. My blood is boiling because I can't stand little shots like that at people. Really, if I was doing anything else other than trying to focus on that beam, I might have flipped my lid. I can't let my emotions get the best of me. I'm trying to win this competition. You're doing good. Oh, yeah. And Rachel fell down. Two weeks of slop. And Rachel is now on two weeks of slop. I need to be on a diet anyways. <sighs> I'm just gonna miss wine. What the hell is Rachel's problem? There's no reason for her or Jordan to take a two-week slot pass. Good, buddy. And Rachel is out of the competition. Good try, Rachel. Yes. Maybe I need to tell me how they're doing. You're doing great, Brennan. Not me, them. Mm. Dominic has, almost has two circles filled. Jeff is more than halfway done and Adam is way behind. As I'm going across the beam, I'm neck and neck with Brendan and Jeff. I cannot risk them being close enough to catch me. I gotta go, I can't see their target. I'm leaping for this, I can't lose. Whoa, whoa. Brendan, close call. Dominic is ahead of you, but only by a little bit. But don't fall. Right there. Right there, baby. Let's go. Whoa. Brendan, it's neck and neck between Brendan and Dominic. Yeah. Good job, Brendan. You're doing really well. You got it, Brendan. But don't fall. I can't focus. All I hear is Rachel's loud, annoying voice. Come on, Brendan. Brendan, Brendan. My fiance, Brendan. You drop one. Dominic's in the lead, but if Dominic falls, that means I have to win the power veto. I cannot have Jeff win because the nominations cannot stay the same. And going for the veto! Anywhere. Woo! 100%. I'm safe. I'm enjoying my week. I got to shove that where the sun don't shine, baby. What?
Obviously, Dom winning is, is a little bittersweet for me now that he has won the veto. I'm a little scared right now that we will be the replacement nominees. Good job, Joe. Hell yeah. Nice job, guys. I'd appreciate your comments during the race, by the way. What? Just so to let you know. Are you talking to me? Yeah, Jeff? I'm talking to you. Oh, come on. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. Just do what you have to do and just keep your mouth shut. Don't worry about what she does. Jeff, come on, man. Come on. I was in my own little candy land at that point. Rachel is running wild with her comments. It's been a problem from the beginning. So someone has to set her straight. No. It's done. Ooh. It's over. Like, relax, okay? As I said, if the HOH isn't taking the slop, then why should we even be playing? You can't be safe. Well, why would... Yeah. I know. It's fine. Don't worry about it. But you know Why would you do that? Say that. You shouldn't take this off. If she wasn't taking you, you shouldn't take it. I'm behind you 100%, okay? Okay? I, I understand. I understand. You're almost going to win it, and then you're going to do whatever they say? No. Look at me. Keep your head in the game. Not emotion. Let's play smart. Win all every competition by yourself, Jeff. But we don't. I cannot have Rachel freaking out, especially in front of everyone. Hello, Rachel, come on. I love you, but please, baby, use your head. I talk inside, but it's not nice what you say in front of other people. And putting Jordan on spot like that, and then put, taking two weeks to slap when you have no chance to win just to prove a point. Why would you do that? Jeff. You weren't with you Because weren't in I'm the a competitor, lead. I'm going to take two weeks to slap no matter what, and I wasn't not in the lead, Jeff. Both of you. Some drama in the house right now. This is absolutely music to my ears. I love it. Let's break up the foursome. This is heaven. Well, you, you showed that you're better than Jordan. You showed it tenfold today. That's not what I was stop, trying to stop. do. Baby, what? Is... Baby, what? <laughs> Jeff and Rachel got in a fight during the veto competition, and now Rachel's crying in the bushes. I need her just to calm down because I can't have the rest of the house seeing this craziness going on between our alliance. Rachel. I wasn't trying to prove that I'm better than Jordan, but yeah, it makes me frustrated. I know. I'm a competitor. I know. And I wasn't not in the lead, it was close. He had no right to yell at me in front I of know, everyone. I know. <laughs> Rachel going and crying in a bush is lame. Like, if you're going to step up to the plate and step up to the dog and you're going to start calling all kinds of things out, you better be able to back it up. Don't let your mouth write a check your butt can't cash. I'm mad that I fell. I'm Baby, embarrassed. Don't embarrass. Are you kidding me? You took us two weeks to love. Just keep competing. <laughs> um, with, the, with the chance that you might not be able to win. I think that's pretty valiant, baby. Are you kidding me? Don't ever be embarrassed. You fight as hard as I do. I'm very proud of you. I'm, I'm, look at me, come here. I'm so proud of you. Brendan has a level head. I know he's thinking exactly what I'm thinking. He's gotta calm Rachel down, do whatever he has to do, pet her ego, stroke her red hair, bedazzle whatever she's wearing, and get her in check. Winners first. Eddie's first. Yeah. I, I look over. I just see Brennan just with his head down. I don't know if he's praying, talking to himself, to a bush. What's going on? I don't see no sign of Rachel, so I'm like, okay. Everybody running really went crazy. You can't change what's already happened. Well, you know what? They very well could put us up if they wanted to. We'll start thinking about our game. We don't talk to them for a little bit. Then we'll go up there when the emotions have calmed down and we'll talk to them about it. But you need to keep all your emotions inside and you want That's why I'm hiding in the bushes. Okay, give me, give me a hug. Hug me. Hug me. I love you, okay? I'm proud of you and I know you're a competitor. Okay, come here. Poker face, please. Go straight to the back room. I'm hungry and okay. I want some slop.
The more dramatics and fights that happen in the house, especially between the veterans themselves, that I have no part in, the better it makes me look in the long run. Rachel's shenanigans are absolutely okay. Two thumbs up with me. Keep digging, sister. Take Brendan with you. Awkward. <laughs> so awkward. For the first time in this game, one of the veterans have not won the competition. And what do you know, right off the bat, Rachel's screaming. Rachel didn't get her way, Rachel didn't get a victory. So it's wonderful for me, it's wonderful for the house. I'm loving it, I'm gonna sit back and watch and enjoy the show. First newbie victory. What's up, veterans? What's up, veterans? Shove it. You know, this veto could not have worked out better. I kept my word to Jeff and Jordan. Dominic wins, he's gonna pull us off the block. Hey, I kept my word and I'm off the block. Easy week. You want to come upstairs? Don't be so mad. I'm not. I'm, just, I'm pissed I lost and I'm pissed at comments all the time. You know what I mean? This is not the Rachel show. I'm so I'm getting sick of it, to be honest with you. What did she got to throw a stone at you for? What was the point of you going on slot? Well, I didn't realize I was that far behind. Do you think you would have won? Honestly. No, I mean, I don't think I would have won. So why would you take two weeks a slot? Maybe because that's like how she feels like competitors should be. No, that's how idiots should be. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense to me. I think what Rachel's problem is, is she feels like she has to win every single competition. Or if she doesn't, it's like the end of the world. Her mouth is what's going to get her evicted. She's bashing our, our players in the middle of the competition. Wait till after to say something if you didn't like the decision. Yeah. Okay, listen. People didn't like you last year because of you. So stop doing that. Don't do that. If you do the same thing, expect different results. That's what insanity is. She's doing the same thing, expecting everyone to like her. I mean, we still have to work with them. I can't work with them with her mouth all the time. It's going to come to some breaking point. Well, I mean, we just need to get through another week. God. In my mind, I'm almost thinking, is Rachel more of a liability than an asset? I know it's very early on in the game. We need her and Brendan's help at this point to get through the next couple of weeks. But I would be lying if I said that the thought hadn't crossed my mind of backdooring Brendan and Rachel. I really don't want to put Cassie and Shelly on the block. Because that's what they want. Our team's starting to rattle. No. I don't know why Jeff thinks I was trying to prove them better than Jordan. You, you weren't, but when you snapped off your comment... I know, you're right. Just say you made a mistake. I made a mistake. Because when we go up later and try to talk to him, if you're still trying to defend your actions... I know, I already agreed I made a mistake. I okay, are you, what are you going to say? I'm sorry, Jordan, I made a mistake. I shouldn't have said that. Okay. But you got to mean it. Two wrongs don't make a right. I think we'd all agree on that, right? It's only week two and we're already falling apart. <laughs> I could be a bitch and be like, I don't appreciate your girlfriend winning HOH because we like Oh my god, what are you saying? What are you saying right now? I'm not gonna stop, say stop. Okay. America hates me. Oh my god. Come in. Hey. Hey gang. Hey. <laughs> Jordan, I'm sorry. I was out of line. I'm not mad at you. You should have just bowed out. I know. I can't. I really get so caught up in competitions, I don't even notice where, <laughs> what other people are doing or what's going on. This is what I'm pissed because you, now the repercussions of this moment is going to last for two weeks. Now you're on slot for two weeks for no reason. You know what I mean? Yeah. It kind of seemed like a 
forced apology to me. Maybe it was coming more from Brendan than her. She was just kind of, I'm sorry guys. Not like really sincere about anything. We just, we just need to make sure that we are good because there's no reason any of us need to ever be fighting, yeah. period. And, no, and we need each other, we're not. I know, good. yeah. Because the last thing we need is to go at it and let Luan win Big Brother. <laughs> we're still in very good position. We just can't let those people ever, ever see us do that again. So Jeff, we just can't hate each other. I don't appreciate people putting me down or my girlfriend. You know, the power's ours, so she's really walking a thin rope here because if we wanted to, we could definitely give them the back door and they're split up guaranteed. Hey, girl, can you get back to normal? Rest up. She's freaking nuts. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I wish I was not HOH this week because I like every single person here and you two are the last people I want to put up. Have y'all considered back doing them this week? Brennan and Rachel? Rachel? What do you think Brenna and Rachel would do if they were leaning towards one couple and y'all were leaning towards another? They would do what they wanted to do. They probably wouldn't listen to anyone else. One thing I would tell you is think about the long haul and who's going to turn on you later. And at some point, y'all are going to have to get Brendan and Rachel out. Right. And I would have been totally down to lead that front and do it. It's just, you know, the veterans teamed up together. If I flip, then it's gonna be four of us against all of them. But I'm just telling you, watch your back. Mm -hmm. Because the two people that are gonna lie, cheat and steal, stab in the back, whatever they have to do, are those two. I just wanna shake Jordan right now and make her see what a golden opportunity this is and how this is an absolute game changer that could shake up the entire season for the best for everyone involved. I know you're a sweet, sweet person. I'm not calling you naive or dumb by any means, but they've got to get out or they're going to be here at the end, yeah. you know? It just wouldn't make sense to cry about one of those two people being out of here. Yeah. Because that helps everyone's game. If I backdoor Brandon and Rachel, my whole alliance is going to be mad at me. I'm like so confused. Do I do what's best for me or do I do what's best for my alliance? I don't know. I'll get Jeff and I'll talk to him. I do appreciate it. I talked to Cassie and she like, it's like, well, have, did you consider backdooring Brendan and Rachel? I would say do it. I would, I would stand by you and let you pull the trigger and keep her just because it would help us. We have the opportunity to put up Brendan and Rachel and split them up. They're our biggest allies right now, but in the end, they're gonna be our biggest competition. And why not take that chance right now to finally squash that annoying gnat in my ear? Well, they are gonna be hard to do later And too, yeah, I wish well. I could do something like dramatic in this game, you know? Who are we kidding? I'm 100% using this veto, but the only thing that really sucks is that casting could be going up in my place. Obviously Dominic's gonna use the veto, so I have to decide, am I gonna make a big move and shake things up, or just go along with my alliance? Jeff and Rachel obviously had their little spat, but if Jordan was to put Rachel and I up as replacement nominees, that'd probably be the stupidest move they could make because they're gonna be next on the hit list. They need us in this game. Hey everyone, it's time for the veto meeting. This is the veto meeting. Uh, 
Adam and I have been nominated for eviction. But since I have the power of veto, it gives me the power to remove us both from the chopping block. I have decided to use the power of veto on Adam and myself. Um, it's kind of a no-brainer. It's never good being on the block. It always sucks. So, Jordan, since I have just vetoed your nominations, you must nominate a new duo for evictions. Get your big booty off the block. I think everybody knows whenever something like this happens, it does suck. Um, the duo that I am putting up, it's nothing personal. It's just what's going to further me and Jeff. I'm very sorry, but I have to nominate Shelly and Cassie. This veto meeting is adjourned. It's very unfortunate that one of us has to go, but either way, I've got to make sure that I'm the one that stays and continues to compete in this game. So Dominic's off the block, Cassie's on the block. I couldn't ask for anything better. Cassie is Dominic's closest ally, and if I can get her out of the house, he has no other option than to team up with me. If I were on the block with anyone else other than Shelly, it would be a done deal. To campaign against her is absolutely heart-wrenching. It's frustrating, but at the end of the day, I don't want to leave. I'm going to keep playing this game and until I'm out the door. Jeff and Jordan actually made a smart decision. They put up Cassie. I guess they really are on our side. Who will be evicted from the Big Brother house? Cassie or Shelly? And who will become the new head of household? It all happens live Thursday at 9, 8 central on Big Brother.